Creating an Ecological Earth. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 161. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 161, April 24th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the summer lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of summer is now 100% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the Courage lesson plan. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the cooperation and collaboration lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This last week on Highest Good Food, the core team finalized and are launching our transition kitchen page to the public. This work is part of the development of our food self-sufficiency transition plan, which features contributions from naturopathic doctor Matt Martirano, creator of the coherent model for comprehensive digestive health. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also further developed the planting plan specifics of the tropical atrium that is the center of the Earth Bag Village, Pod 1. What you see here are version 2.0 of the two different layout options we've decided on. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was reviewing the first three poly installations and rewriting the poly foundation to coincide with the floor construction in Section 12 and providing determinations of how to fit EPS to exterior dome shape and cost estimates for Section 14, subterranean exterior ground finish of polyethylene water barrier, and EPS insulation. We'd say we are now 78% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, started designing and exploring different loft sleeping area options for the living structures for this village. You can see these here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 16 of his work that included finishing the natural and do-it-yourself constructed outdoor water feature. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. 
This week, the core team finished rendering the cupola area of the Duplical City Center. Here you see three most recent rendered scene images for different settings of the cupola studio. We also started to work on updates for the Duplical City Center natural pool and spa. The children's easy access area was redesigned as seen here and based on the excellent design work of Bupesh Sithala, interior designer. The new design features safety rails, a separation wall between the children and adult areas of the pool, and an 8-inch, 16-inch, and 24-inch set of stepped areas for children to enjoy. Iris Su, industrial designer, also continued exploring recycled pipe shelving options for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round four of this work building 3D examples of the corner shelving options we liked best and starting to see how they'll look with different shelving for the adjacent walls. We also added the amazing city center control systems and electrical design work from Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, to the city center open source hub and control systems pages. What you see here are the details of placement for all of the control and automation systems, lights, and electrical for the entire city center. In their weekly collaborative call, Mike, Lucas, and Jay discussed testing being done to fix an electrical interference problem happening with long cable runs and wiring Mike is doing to test the control panel design they shared last week. Wang Bao, software developer, also continued transferring the work of last year's intern team into the new Duplical City Center electrical page. What you see here is the last third of the complete content live on the new page. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team completed the final edits and reorganization needed for the icons designed by graphic designer Ivan Monzarov. The final icons we worked on are shown here. These are for the Earthbag Village Pod 1 open source hub. We also added the work of Lokesh Gopu, software engineer, to the Highest Good Network software page along with links to the GitHub. Once complete, this open source software will streamline project tracking and sustainable community collaboration and data sharing around the world. Related to this, Jonathan DeAcentis, graphic designer and web developer, continued development of what will be the Highest Good Network logo. What you see here are his fourth round of evolutions. One community is about creating an ecological earth. What that means is we are here to help facilitate the process of, be of humanity becoming a part of the balance and ecology that is our entire planet. Arguably right now, we seem to be a little bit out of sync with the rest of the ecological biosphere that we all share. We seem to be doing a lot of damage to our planet. And so one community sees a path to creating a world that not only works for all of humanity, but works for all living creatures on this planet. And our way of doing that is through open source and free shared, do-it-yourself, instructions, tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints for highest good living. All aspects of highest good living, which includes the highest good of all life on our planet, and creating a truly ecological earth. Now the foundations that we've identified as essential to this that we're beginning with is an evolution of sustainability that combines physical sustainability with emotional sustainability and includes open source and do-it-yourself instructions, tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints for food, energy, housing, as well as the emotional aspects which we've identified as uh, fulfilled living practices, high school education, high school economics, and true earth stewardship. And that earth stewardship part, and putting all this together is an evolution of sustainability, but specifically, that earth stewardship part is the aspect that we're really focusing on as creating an ecological earth. The idea is that as conscious beings capable of creating a planet that works for everyone, we can also create a planet that is truly, truly stewarded by an eco-civilization, by a sustainable civilization. And our path to creating that sustainable civilization is not by trying to convert people to sustainability or to impress our values upon other people. Instead, it's to create a way of living that most people, we feel, will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now, built on sustainable infrastructure, built on living and creating for the highest good of all. You don't have to live and create for the highest good of all to use everything that we're creating, but if you do, the benefits are even greater. 
And so our idea is to take all these open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, and we will build the first prototype, the demonstration hub, which we are calling a teacher demonstration community, or you could call it a village, but ultimately they will evolve into cities that are designed to teach others how to create sustainable and self-sufficient teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as well. We call these solution models designed to create additional solution creating models. And our idea is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough that the idea will become self-replicating and spread across the world. And so to do that, we have the open source blueprints and we are creating everything to be replicated, but also to be adapted in whatever way people want and built with the consciousness for the highest good of all. So that whatever direction people take it, it's already started on a platform that is designed to create a better world for everybody. This is our idea for creating an ecological earth. And we believe, we know, that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, make the idea self-replicating, it is possible to actually transform our planet to a totally sustainable and ecological biosphere shared by all of us within our lifetime. A planet that truly meets the needs of everybody. We see all of humanity's challenges that we're facing right now as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And so one community is designing a model that addresses all of them simultaneously because we really think that that's the only way that we can do it. To address one aspect without addressing all of the others is, is really putting a band-aid on the situation. And what we want to do is we want a comprehensive model that addresses everything simultaneously, and that's what we've designed. That's what our website's all about, and that's what we've been putting all of our time and energy into, and that's what the initial prototype will demonstrate. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if you'd like to get involved, join us as either a volunteer or a consultant or as the pioneer members that will move onto the property and build all of one community. Get involved in whatever way works best for you. If you want the easiest way to help us out, join us through social media. We are on all the different social media platforms to make it as easy to access our information and to share our information as possible. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit. LinkedIn, all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information, share our information, get it out, because our goal is to reach that global tipping point of participation, of engagement, and the prototype is meant to accelerate that and to make it even easier. But to reach that global tipping point where we'll finally live on a planet that meets the needs of everyone, where engagement is enough that people are interested in it at a level that doesn't everybody doesn't need to participate. And the whole model that we're creating is designed so that everybody doesn't need to participate. It would actually take a fairly small percentage of humanity that's interested in this to create enough sustainable infrastructure to completely transform the socio-eco-economic foundation of our planet as a whole. To address homelessness, to address hunger, to address the fact that 30% of the population doesn't have access to power, to address clean water, sanitation, all of these things for everybody. It doesn't require everybody to buy into the idea. It only requires enough people to create the infrastructure, to take the, the resources that already exist, the brain trust that already exists, the, the desire that already exists to mobilize that in a way that could help everyone. So this is what we're up to. Uh, of course, the biggest thing that would help us right now is large-scale funding. We're still seeking large-scale funding. So, of course, if you know somebody or are somebody with access or the resources to help us get the property off the market, this is one of the things that would help us the most, even though it's not something we're focusing on a lot right now. We are still seeking that individual or group that can fund us, help us get the property off the market, and accelerate our entire process to a whole new level of open sourcing and free sharing and creation that can only be achieved once we have that property off the market. In the meantime, though, we continue to focus on all the details, the infrastructure, and doing what our nonprofit and our all-volunteer team, none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing, we're continuing to focus on what we're best at, which is creating that infrastructure, designing those plans, and finishing out what's needed so that we can be shovel-ready to actually start building once we do have that funding. And once those things are complete, we will focus almost exclusively on funding, but we've still got a lot of work to do in that area. So get involved if it's interesting to you. The invitation is open. Thank you for everybody that's following our progress. Thank you for everybody for the small donations, the $5, the $10. They really make a big difference. You know, the expenses of one community are quite large as a global 
organization. So those donations help offset those costs and help us to continue doing what it is that we're doing. So thank you for that. Also, thank you for everybody that sends us emails, for everybody that gives us comments on Facebook and social media and uh, on our different pages because that helps to make everything better. Thank you, of course, to all of our partners that are always helping us out. Thank you for following our progress. And until next week, we will keep on keeping on as we continue creating an ecological earth for everybody one small step at a time. But we're now five years into the process and what we have accomplished as a group of 100% nonprofit volunteers is truly amazing. So thanks for being a part of it in whatever way you have. Thanks for following our progress. Until next week, we'll keep on keeping on. Thanks again.